Hello, and welcome to Playtime with Dolphy. I'm going to be playing some more Stray Cat Dolls. I had originally went to play something on my PC this morning, but my PC had other plans with forcing me into doing updates. So, um, tablet games it is, which I needed to finish this one anyway. So, um, I believe we're on the fourth stage now. Yeah, stage four. Which I believe this is the one that's on the Osun. Yes, it is. This really has the prettiest animations and graphics and just color palette. It's such a pretty game. I can't wait to do a video on the second one. Go poke around at everything. Oh, I love the little idle animations. That's so cute. <clears throat> so we have some binoculars. Let's look at the book. Sea Land. Okay. I feel like this is needed for a puzzle. Hmm. Wonder if we can remember four seals. Five dolphins and two boats. We'll probably forget. I will. I will totally forget that. Oh, I, I will totally forget that. <clears throat> oh, a sliding puzzle. Okay. For anyone that's watched my uh, teacup videos, <laughs> you should know that. It's kind of mixed with me with sliding puzzles. They can sometimes take me a while. And then sometimes I'm actually pretty good at them. Okay. Huh. Do we want that over there? No. Okay. I'm gonna be on this wall. <laughs> Let's reset it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Feel miserable at this. I'm just. I'm just trying to look at it for a second to see if there's some sort of pattern on how I'm supposed to solve this. Huh. I don't really see any pattern. Let me see. I feel like this is the corner piece. And I feel like the sun should go in the upper right corner. So, I feel like we're kind of getting somewhere. Maybe, sort of, I don't know. Ugh, I was just thinking the last time that my computer forced me to do updates, I had to actually roll the updates back because they made my computer completely unusable. They made everything really slow and laggy. <laughs> so I really hope I don't have to spend my day doing that today, at least. At least now I know what the solution is, if that is the problem. Okay, so we have the top ones done. So what can we do with the bottom? Okay, so I'm actually almost there. No, I don't want to move that piece. I'm bad at these. I'm really bad at these. Is there like a trick to this or something? Hmm. 
Okay. So if I can just get that on the veil. Okay, now I just need to <laughs> somehow get those pieces on the veil. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Okay. Ugh, okay. This is not not working out how it's set in my head. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay. That that was that was that took a bit, yeah. That took a bit. Oh, I don't think we need the Oh I forget they only want you to pick something things. Okay, I'll pick the jelly beans. <laughs> Because I don't remember what was needed for the little mouse family. Um. So. Okay. Did they like what I fed them? No? Okay. We'll come back to them later. Okay, so we know a dolphin veil. Okay, it's dolphin. Okay, it's dolphin. 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 Dolphin? Okay, I messed up the paddle. Oh, because there was one over there. Okay, so this. Dolphin. 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 Dolphin? Okay. Thank you, Dolphin. Okay. Oh, it has something for me and I can't take it. Okay. Let's use the monoculars over here. So that's up, left, right, right is what it says. Up, left, right, right. Okay. We have so many puzzles going on right now. I think I need the net to get the thing from the dolphin. Okay, so this actually gave us the solution for the dolphin. As for the mouse family, do not feed Papa Mouse meat, do not feed Mama Mouse any food, and do not feed Baby Mouse candy. Okay, I will try to remember that. And I can't do anything with that. I feel like that one is tied to the book. So let's go ahead and do the mice. So we're gonna try meat for Mama Mouse. We'll try a candy and we'll try food. Okay. So maybe Papa Mouse gets fruit. Candy for maybe meat for baby mouse and candy for mama mouse. Hmm. Well, if mama mouse can't have fruit, do we give meat to mama mouse? No. Hmm. Let's go back to this puzzle then. <coughs> I feel like this is probably a math puzzle. Because there's numbers in the lower right corner too. So maybe it's maybe it's times. Maybe it's one times four. So that's a four then. A one. No, that's a one. Okay, so that would be four. And this would be 10 times 5 would be 50. And then 200. So that would be 4, 5, 2. So let's go try 4, 5, 2. But first let's get this fussy from the dolphin. Four, 
supposed to know that was in the walls, but... Oh, there's a bottle there. It has the false puzzle piece in it. I can't get it. Can I break it? No. Not yet, anyway. Did we put the fist here? Or did we give... Okay. So we gave a fist to the board, and we do have our false puzzle piece now. I think we can grab this. We have a corkscrew. We can go to the bottle, use that to get the second puzzle piece. Okay. Um, what about the boat? The compass is pointing east. Does that have to do with the island? I think it has to do with the island. So then, north, east, I mean, northwest, sorry, northwest, east, east. Northwest, east, east. So then, that would be, so we know north is this way. Okay, finally, a simple puzzle. <laughs> that was a little easier. Okay, we only need one more piece now. Okay. Okay. Now, the mouse puzzle has me kind of confused. Um, I'll take... Yes. So, one is a sweet, one is fruit, and one is meat. We know Papa Mouse can't have... Oh, wait. Let me look at that again. Let me look at that again. This is not to... Oh! Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, you want to... If, if it's wanting against feeding them those, then maybe that's what you have to feed them to get them to move. So let's try feeding Baby Mouse a sweet, Papa Mouse meat. Oh, they squeaked! And Mama Mouse apples. Oh, they're so cute! Okay, so you had to feed them what it said not to feed them. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So the missing tile, full the tile bubble. Okay, I didn't even know we needed another one. And we have the last puzzle piece. Yay! Okay. So now we can actually unlock the next. Okay, we're ready to go to the fifth stage now. We just have this and one more stage, and then we're done with this game. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one's really pretty. So we're gonna take those. I'm just tapping around at everything. We got a little chess piece. And... <clears throat> we can place the chess piece. No, we cannot. 
Oh, we're supposed to, okay. We're supposed to put it there. So we still need a knight, and it looks like a queen. Oh, that requires a five-digit number. I'm not getting through that anytime soon. I wonder if this is the knight we need. It obviously needs the piece. Okay, I'm just poking around at stuff randomly. Oh, so that's the knight we need. There's a box up there, but we can't reach it. I can't do anything there. Huh. I guess this is... Oh, wait. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I knew exactly what they were wanting me to do. <laughs> I know they want me to make a picture of some kind. But I'm not sure what picture they want me to make. Hmm. We'll come back to that then. Okay, so we have a broom now. There's another box. Reminds me of the Jericho Lantern, actually. We'll come back to that. I have no idea what they want us to do with that. What if we use the broom on the leaves? Oh! Okay, so... This piece goes here, and then this piece goes here. Hmm. Do they want me to take the castle? I'm trying to figure out what they want me to do. Well, if I place this here, that could take the castle. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. They want me to place, I guess, each piece in a state of, like, protection for each other. Which I'm used to doing that when I play jazz, where if you move over here, then that piece will get taken by this piece, that kind of thing. So we have our first puzzle piece. So far, this level's not as bad as the last one. Now let's see what they, what they want us to do next. Um, we have a broom, we have this random pair of scissors, and we have a pumpkin. I'm gonna try looking at the pumpkin puzzle again. Wait, maybe there's, maybe there's more leaves to sweep. Oh, there is, okay. Pumpkin in a pot. A pumpkin in a vase. <gasps> Here's the vase, okay. Stick the pumpkin in it. Oh, you wash it off and it reveals the grid. So this one actually deals with a lot of board games, it looks like. Okay. I think I can remember that grid, I think. Okay, so we have to... Oh, I see, okay. We have to, like, get rid of these, though. <laughs> okay, we have to get rid of these. I don't want those. <laughs> no, I don't want them. Okay. How can I just, like, completely get rid of those? Because I need... Ugh. <sighs> So annoying. So I need the, like, okay, I'm gonna go look at the grid again on the pumpkin. Oh, okay, so they, they want the black ones to be, okay. So see, I was doing it wrong. That's why I wasn't looking. So the black ones have to go there, and the orange ones. 
So I have to have these completely lit up. And that's going to actually take a bit. Oh, we got it! Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Oh, I guess I could take everything else inside the box. Okay, so we've gotten two of the puzzle pieces. Um, let's go poke at the plants. Let's see. Still have no idea what they're wanting us to do with this. Like, at all. Wait. Oh! Do they want... Do they want the pot? Is it by the pot sizes? Do they want the sizes, the shapes of the pots to be in order? I'll go with that. I'll go with, like, maybe they want the, the shapes of the pots to be in order. No, that's not it. Mm. Be honest, I don't know what they want us to do. Are you supposed to make an image with the stuff on the bottom? I think I'm just going to hit them at random. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what they want me to do. I'm just going to just tap them around and hope for the best. And... Probably not the best way to do these kinds of puzzles, but I have no idea. I have no idea what they want. I honestly do not know what they want us to do with these things. So I'm going to leave that then for now. I'm going to leave that... And, um, think about, uh, oh, okay, so we can access this other box now. Oh, those are the colors of the plants on the wall. Okay, this would be easy. Purple up, blue midway. Okay, so purple's all the way up and blue is midway. Red is above blue and yellow's at the bottom. Mm. That's probably the easiest puzzle I think we've had so far. Okay. Next is we have a flashlight. What can we use a flashlight for? Oh, wasn't there like a dark area? Yeah. So we have a key. And I think we can use the key here. Okay, so we only need one more, and something tells me has to do with this. I honestly don't know what to do with this. Like, at all. Mmm. You know, I, I don't like looking up walkthroughs, but I think I'm going to have to look up a walkthrough for this. Because I don't know what they're wanting. So let me just look this up on my phone really quickly. What the heck? Okay. So apparently... So apparently, like... You're supposed to arrange these so that they form the numbers 15235. 15235. Five. Now, I don't know how to do that. I really don't, so, yeah. But that goes in here. One, five, two, three, five. Okay, so we're going to take that. 
And we're gonna interact with this. And that's our final piece for this level. So, we're almost done with this game. Final little push through it, and we'll see exactly what the final level has in store for us. And now we have this cute little pumpkin, showing that we've finished the fifth stage. So, now, the final stage. The sixth stage. Let's see what this stage has in store. So, the last stage was kind of autumn themed, so yes, I was right. So this one's kind of wintry themed. Oh, so cute. She's caught up on the floor. Okay, so we can take that. We can take that. Can we put... Oh, okay, so we put the cream all in, like, the coffee. Formed a snowflake. So I'm sure that's a hint. There's this really cute little photo album. It looks like it's telling us the order in which to do things. I guess we'll get to that. And this is 7914, or whatever order the colors I am. Let's poke around the room. Okay, so this is the snowflake, if I'm not mistaken, that appealed in the cup. So do we just activate all those? That's the one in the cup. That is definitely the snowflake in the cup. Hmm. I don't know if we were supposed to activate all those or not, but I'm just going to leave them, I guess. Or do we... Do we deactivate everything else and just leave those? I think I'm gonna stop messing with this until I actually know what I'm doing. Okay. We got another bowl. I'm just poking around on these bowls. So obviously there's something in the bottom right one, but I can't get to it. So. Come back to that. We got a log. Can we put it in the fireplace? Yes, we can. I don't know what that activated. Oh, okay, so that activated this. Okay, so that's the order in which to activate the drawers. So we start in the upper. Okay, so from upper left. Okay, so left. <coughs> okay, so we. <laughs> Left, right, and then, okay, left, right, down, I'm confused, I am confused, um, just kind of memorize that because this is going to be hard to remember. Uh, okay, so it's the starting point for cat. Okay, I'm going to come back to that. I'm coming back to that. I'm coming back to that. I swear. Okay, we're gonna go with this, because this still seems to be the easiest puzzle. <coughs> Excuse me. So I actually clicked on too many of the symbols last time. These are the ones that match the coffee. So, it really was that easy. Now we have the remote. Um... This looks self-explanatory. This looks like this is supposed to spell out life. That's what it looks like to me, at least. 
Oh, that's so cute. Oh, okay. That's the colors from this. So, looks like it's blue, green, red, yellow. So, four, one, seven, nine. Now this one's easy at least. Why didn't it work? Blue, green, red, yellow. Blue, green, blue, green, red, yellow. 4179. Okay, so that's obviously a little more complicated than it's supposed to be. <laughs> huh. I guess the last one is a doozy. This is missing letters. Okay, so we can at least activate this, so let's put these bulbs in. Oh, this has to do, I think, with the clock. So that says 1210, and this is 6, 2, or if it's a clock, 6, it's either six, yeah, it's, it's got to be six two or six twenty. So let's look at the clock. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Let's try the time on the on the red bulb then if it's not working. Okay, so we got an eye. Okay, obviously that goes for this. Okay, we still need an A. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. And I guess we'll do this. So. Are we supposed to be matching it to the pattern exactly? Or spelling out what I think it says? Like unjumbling it. I guess we'll try matching it to the pattern. Oh, this one makes it easy all just having to do it like this. But then we're gonna have us actually like. Okay, so. So that's a match to what the pattern said. Um, are we supposed to unjumble it? Maybe we unjumble it. Oh, we do! Okay, so that was easy. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. So we take the key and... Again, the snowman has buttons in those colors. So it's green, red, yellow, blue. So that's something different. Okay. 
What is next? Green red, yellow, blue. Um, oh, there was a TV here. Can I interact with the remote? Oh, that says the music. Okay. That says the music. Um, I think we can use this one here. So, the green clock, this one we want set to 1210, maybe. Yes. So, we got that. Can we do- Oh, so this has to do with- the, I'm getting ahead of myself. One puzzle- one puzzle at a time. One puzzle at a time. Um... Okay, so we start here. Let's go look at this again. So this has to do with this. So if we start here... Oh, you're spelling it. Okay. Um, you're matching the patterns. So D R E A M. Dream. It spells dream. Okay. And the music bit obviously has to do with the other puzzle. Let's try to do the music bit, I guess. Maybe. That only calls for three. And this has a lot more than three. Let's try this one again, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so you're starting, I guess, on the one next to the ballpark. So we'll go based off that. Let me just memorize this. Lower left, up, okay. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. This is confusing, but we can do this. Bail, bail. I was hoping they'd stay open to let me know if I'm doing it right or not. Oh, okay. I did do it right. I fixed it. It worked! Okay. So we got a key. Does this key go to heal? Yes. So we need five puzzle pieces on this level and we've only got one so far. <laughs> no, okay. We can put that though, I guess that works as an A. So we have two puzzle pieces. That one was at least straightforward. Um, that was not so bad. Alright, so I guess, oh, we're just matching the positions probably for these three, okay. So let's, let's see which ones those are. Uh, filled, empty, and then upside down, that's how I'll remember. Filled, empty, and upside down, okay. Filled, empty, okay, so filled one is on the bottom, empty is on the second, and then the upside down one is on the board. Okay, that one wasn't that bad. We have three now. So that wasn't that bad at all. And I think they want us to remember we had found green. And I think we put that here. Just want to make sure I don't miss the letters. I have to do it all over again. That worked. Okay, so we have four or five. Now we're picking up speed. Not bad. We're still a little confused on the CP face. But now we know that the order's wrong. <clears throat> so we're going to go by the snowman's order. Green... Red, yellow, blue. Okay, 
that one. Yeah, that should have been it. Four, one, seven, nine. So why didn't it work? Maybe, maybe I have to put them in a certain order. That was confusing. Okay, so we got all of the puzzle pieces now. We have finished this game. I'm really happy to play the second one when I get the chance. Um, I don't remember how long the second one is. I know I've beaten the second one like once, but I don't remember how many stages it is. This was really fun and enjoyable to be able to replay this again though. So, yeah, this was really fun. I will see you all on the next video. Bye!